Airdrops are one of the best ways to get started in crypto. With just a tiny amount of startup capital and some consistent effort, you can realistically make $10,000 or more that you can use to fund your crypto portfolio or really anything else that you want. I've personally done this. I've been the recipient of many airdrops in the past, sometimes over $10,000, well over $10,000 from a single drop. And I've helped lots of other people do the exact same thing. And in this video, I wanna break down a realistic strategy for making $10,000 or more with crypto airdrops in 2023, you know, as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And while airdrops are a great way to get started in crypto, the best way to make life-changing money with this technology is to become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do exactly that, how to increase your salary well past 100K over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about the strategy for making $10,000 of crypto airdrops. So in case you didn't know exactly what they are, you probably did because you clicked on this video, but basically crypto airdrops are a way for projects to distribute cryptocurrencies in the modern era of blockchain. They're not doing ICOs as much or initial liquidity mining incentives. They're basically saying, hey, Everybody out there, come start using our project now before we have a token. And if you start using the application enough and you meet a certain set of criteria, then we're just going to give you away free cryptocurrency as a way to get it out there into the world. And so that's basically how this works. You just have to become an early adopter of new technology and they will reward you handsomely for doing that. Now, there's a few different ways to make $10,000 of crypto airdrops. You know, you could get well over $10,000 from a single airdrop alone. You know, I've done this multiple times. The first time I did it was with the Uniswap airdrop, and I realized how incredible that was. I started making videos about it on my YouTube channel when it happened back in 2020, and I've helped lots of other people get ahead of these trends to do just that. So that's one way. Make $10,000 from a single airdrop, or you can get multiple airdrops that add up to $10,000. And this is what I think is the more realistic strategy for more people. We've seen lots of evidence of this in the past few months alone with airdrops like Arbitrum and Canto. I've been getting messages from people saying like, hey, I made $2,000 off this or $3,000 off that. And so if you pick the right projects and put in the work consistently, then you can realistically make $10,000 off these airdrops. Just think about it. All you have to do is find, you know, three airdrops that could pay you, you know, $3,300 or four at $2,500 or five at $2,000. These are very realistic numbers especially if you do this with multiple wallets. And so in the rest of this video, I wanna help you pick out some potential candidates that don't have tokens yet, and you can sort of go through this process to increase the likelihood that you'll be eligible for one of these airdrops. And if you get multiple, then they realistically could add up to $10,000 or more. Now, before I do that, I have to make one thing crystal clear. There is absolutely no guarantee that this is going to work out perfectly for you. I'm not trying to make this video to be, you know, financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy any of the cryptos potentially in this video. And there's always some risks with this strategy. And if you decide to do what I'm talking about in this video, then you assume all the risks for doing that. So here's why. You know, with crypto airdrops, there's always going to be some type of speculation. You don't exactly know who's going to airdrop a token, although you can come up with some pretty good guesses. And I'll share those here in this video as to why I think that. And and even if you do get an airdrop from that project, you don't exactly know how much it's going to be for. But I'm using historical data from my own experiences, from verifiable on-chain evidence of how much money other people are receiving from these airdrops, and the stories that I've just seen in my community from people who have received lots of money from this type of stuff. So I think this is all very realistic. I think there's high odds that this could work out, but of course there's no guarantee. There are risks and you assume all of those if you decide to go through with this. All right, so the first candidate for a crypto airdrop, and I'm putting this as number one because I think it's the most likely candidate out of any of the people on this list. They're all pretty likely, but this one I'm gonna prioritize as number one, which is ZK Sync. So what is it? Well, it's a Ethereum layer two scaling solution. So what is that? Well, basically everybody talks about how Ethereum is too slow, too inexpensive to use. Well, basically, a layer two is Ethereum's long-term vision of creating this second environment where you can do transactions that piggybacks off the main Ethereum chain, you pay the gas fees in ETH, and then those transactions get settled back on the main Ethereum chain. So that's exactly what ZK Sync is. It's a zero-knowledge rollups implementation. And so why I think they're a big candidate, while well, we've seen lots of airdrops from Ethereum layer twos recently, like Arbitrum, which we talked about before, Optimism, which happened last year, and ZK Sync is a strong contender for the Ethereum layer two scaling race. And they've even hinted on their website that they're going to have a token in the future. They I haven't exactly said how it's going to be distributed, but it's super likely that it's going to be with an airdrop. And so how could you potentially be eligible for this? Well, first, you'll need a wallet like MetaMask installed on your computer. You'll need to fund that wallet with some cryptocurrency, probably like Ethereum or ETH, for example. And then you want to bridge over to the ecosystem and start making some transactions. So you can go to ZKSync.io. You can go to their bridge tab. You want to connect your MetaMask. And then you want to essentially take your funds and bridge them over to the ZKSync mainnet. And once you've done that, now you want to start using some applications in the ZKSync ecosystem. 
ecosystem. You can go to, let's see here, the uh, network tab and go to explore the ecosystem. All right, that's going to take you to a page that's going to show you all these different apps that are deployed to ZK Sync. Really, you want to just start doing things. You want to make some transactions, swap some tokens, do what a normal user of the blockchain would do in this case. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is Scroll. So what is Scroll? Well, it is another Ethereum layer two scaling solution like I talked about a minute ago. Now, you won't see it on a website like l2beat.com, and that's because it's currently on a test network, okay? So it's another ZK roll-up space solution with a ZK AVM, kind of like ZK Sync. And so for that reason, I think they're probably going to follow in similar footsteps. You don't actually have to use any real money in order to risk for the strategy, okay? So what you can do is just go to the join the alpha test net here. You can also use a MetaMask wallet. You don't have to install any new wallets or anything like that. You'll want to connect your wallet to both test networks. Again, it's a layer two. So you talk to the layer two itself and then the underlying blockchain. So you need to connect to the Gorley test network. That's the layer one it uses in this case. And then you want to connect to the layer two. Okay, and once you've done that, you can actually request some test network tokens to your wallet from a thing called a faucet. This is just a place where you can get free cryptocurrency to start testing it out. It's not worth anything. That's why you can get it for free. And then once you've done that, you want to basically go through the same process. You want to go to their bridge. You want to bridge some funds over and then go look at some different projects in the ecosystem. At this point, you're probably not going to do much more than just moving things around and playing around with some simple rudimentary apps. All right, so the next major contender I want to talk about is StarkNet. So what is that? Well, it's another Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution, just like the other two I mentioned in this video with some differences, okay? So right now, StarkNet's on the main net, so it's not like the other one I talked about it's on a test network. You need some real funds in order to use this. But the other thing, it's not really compatible with your MetaMask wallet like the others are fully. So what you're going to have to do is use a different wallet in order to interact with StarkNet. So the easiest way to do this will be download a wallet like Argent, okay? You can get this on Android or Apple. You can transfer funds into it and then start using StarkNet natively from the wallet application itself, okay? So you want to do basically the same types of things, you know, explore their ecosystem. You can see their wallets they recommend here. That's Argent, like I was talking about a minute ago. But then you can also see Discover dApps. You can use the starknet-ecosystem.com website to see different applications that you can start using on this, you know, all from your Argent wallet. All right, so the next project that you can check out is Sweep. So what is that? Well, it is an alternative layer one blockchain. So if you happen to be around in the last crypto bull run, or maybe you're just coming to space, you might have heard of Solana. Okay, so Solana was a huge contender, uh, especially in 2021. It had a meteoric rise, kind of out of nowhere, you know, hailed to be an Ethereum killer and all that type of stuff. We've seen this happen with multiple different crypto cycles. And there's two big projects that have tried to come at the forefront of that as alternative layer one scaling solutions, which are Aptos and Sweep. And Aptos has done an airdrop in the past. And so I think it just completely stands to reason that Sweep's probably going to do the same thing. Again, I don't have any official news about this, but it's a pretty good guess. So how could you use it? Well, the time recording this video, the mainnet's not yet live, so you have to use the test network, although you could probably modify these steps once the mainnet's live. It might go live by the time this video gets published. But what you're going to want to do is, number one, get the SWE wallet, okay? So you're not going to be able to do this directly with your MetaMask. You have to actually install a new wallet for this. You can see how to install the browser extension, just like MetaMask. You can just click on it here, create a new wallet. But then if you're using the test network, inside the wallet itself, you can just request test tokens and you can start using uh, applications inside the ecosystem, just like I was talking about with the previous steps. And a good thing to think about here is if you have to request test tokens on the network, that means they're probably going to have a token on the mainnet. And for that reason, they're probably going to airdrop it as well. All right, so the last project I want to talk about in this list is Layer Zero, okay? So what is this? It's an omni-chain protocol that basically lets different blockchains and scaling solutions talk to one another. So what does that mean? It means like essentially if you're trying to get from Ethereum to ZK Sync or something like that, you can use Layer Zero as a transfer protocol to get from one environment to another. I brought that up because they just put out a tweet um, recently before I recorded this video about their integration with ZK Sync. And so they're plugging into these different blockchain ecosystems that have either done airdrops or are likely to do airdrops. They're a really funded project. And I've got some ideas about how they could actually have a utility token in their ecosystem. So they're probably going to do airdrop. Again, no guarantee, but I've had them as a strong contender here. So how do you use it? Well, the good news is you can use your MetaMask wallet, okay? Uh, one easy way to get started here is just to use the uh, USDC bridge, okay? You can even use the Gorley test network, which again is Ethereum test network. You don't have to risk any money. 
You can bridge over with USDC balance to a different network like Avalanche, for example, with Fuji. You can even request the faucet USDC or faucet ETH down here below this tab. And that's going to let you start using the protocol and get counted in transactions to potentially get one of these airdrops. All right. So those are five different projects that I personally think are very likely to do airdrops in the future. Again, there's no guarantee here, but you kind of have to play the probabilities game and just think about it. If three of those hit and you got $3,300 or more, that's $10,000, okay? If four of them hit and you only get $2,500, that's $10,000. Or if all five hit and you only get $2,000, that's 10 grand as well. So again, there's no guarantees on that, but I think this is a realistic plan to get there. Now, let me give you some additional tips, all right? So you can always increase the likelihood that you'll get more if you use multiple wallets, okay? So let's say that you only got $1,000 from an airdrop. Well, if you did it with two wallets, then that instantly doubles your rewards to $2,000. Now, you got to be careful with this. I'm not recommending that anybody go out there and create some massive bot farm or anything like that. Try to do it with like a thousand wallets or more. But I think doing it with just a couple wallets is okay. I think the people that are doing the airdrops expect for this type of behavior. They just don't want you creating some sort of massive bot farm to game the system. Now, a couple of other tips is you definitely want to use this stuff organically. All right, you want to be an actual user of the application. And that's what's going to help you get picked up for this type of stuff. So that means like doing transactions on multiple different days across different weeks, preferably across different months so that you look like a real user of the chain. And honestly, like just be a real user of the chain. Just go explore stuff. Look at the applications on the list. Try to get some actual benefit from them. And that way you don't have to think about it so much. But one thing you might want to program into yourself in terms of discipline is just doing it on a regular cadence across time. Increase the likelihood that the strategy will actually pay off for you. All right. So that's all I got for today. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out. So the more we're going around blockchain. And as always, you know, the crypto airdrops are a great way to get started. But the best way to make life-changing money with this exciting new technology is to learn the skills, break into the industry, get a massive edge, become a blockchain developer, and increase your salary well past 100 k And I can show you how to do that exactly step-by-step -step over at dappiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So... That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.